Your morning news now. Former President Donald Trump's second impeachment trial gets underway in the Senate today. The first day of the proceedings will consist of a debate and vote as to whether the trial itself is constitutional. The former president faces a single article of impeachment. It accuses him of inciting the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Federal safety officials are expected to reveal what caused the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, and seven others in Southern California. Last year's tragedy will be the focus of a National Transportation Safety Board virtual hearing today. The board will vote on the crash's probable cause and any recommendations to prevent future disasters. The founding member of the Supremes, Mary Wilson, has died at age 76. The singer's publicist says it happened suddenly overnight at her Nevada home. Wilson, Diana Ross, and Florence Ballard made up the first successful grouping of the Supremes until it was officially disbanded by Motown in 1977. New reports indicate that a fire in downtown La Crosse may have started with homeless people trying to stay warm. The fire last week caused extensive damage to Casino Bar, the apartments above, and Brothers Bar right next door. According to the La Crosse Fire Department's investigation, the fire started in the alleyway behind Casino Bar where homeless people had been living. It was caused by at least one person igniting flammable materials, most likely someone trying to stay warm. Well, it is a very cold start to this Tuesday morning. We've got temperatures in the teens and 20s below zero, but wind chills could get as cold as 20 to 30 below, even with a very light breeze. So a wind chill advisory is in effect through 10 a.m., and it's going to be a really cold afternoon as well. COVID-19 variants are causing new spikes in hospitalizations, and there's concern that Super Bowl gatherings have only made things worse. However, Fewer than 90,000 hospitalizations were reported on Monday. That is down from January 2nd's high of 300,000. According to scientists, the strain first seen in the UK is doubling nearly every 10 days. Anywhere from six to 10 community vaccination sites are coming to Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers administration is working to establish the new sites. The first opens next Tuesday in Rock County. It's expected to be able to vaccinate about 250 people every day with a goal to eventually bring that number up to 1000 people per day. Businesses in Minnesota might be able to resume full operations by May 1st. That's according to a new roadmap laid out by House Republicans to begin lifting coronavirus restrictions. Representatives say the downward trend in cases plus the rising vaccination rates mean that businesses can operate safely with the proper precautions. Local officials are showing approval for Governor Evers' proposal on legalizing marijuana. They say it would stimulate the economy and provide funding for Wisconsin's Community Reinvestment Fund. Officials say efforts in La Crosse have already started moving in the direction of decriminalizing marijuana. Due to a La Crosse ordinance passed last summer, if a person is caught with 25 grams or less of marijuana, the fine is just $1. Wisconsin's primary is just one week away, but before you plan on voting, here are some important reminders. The last day to request an absentee ballot by mail is this Thursday. You have until this Friday to vote in person absentee. Tuesday, February 16th is the big day. Polls open at 7 in the morning. The race for La Crosse's next mayor is on your ballot. And all this week, News 8 Now will bring you interviews from candidates as they look to advance to the general election. If your, if your car isn't maintained, there's a good, uh, greater possibility it isn't going to start. You might be experiencing some car trouble this morning because of the cold weather. However, there are a few things that you can do to keep it running through these sub-zero temperatures. A good rule of thumb is to keep your fuel tank at least halfway full and make sure you run your vehicle daily. But local mechanics say the number one thing to do is stay up to date with oil changes and other general maintenance. Yeah, and it is very cold this morning. These are actual air temperatures in the teens and 20s below zero, 13 degrees below zero in La Crosse and Winona, 15 below in Prairie du Chien. But you're in the low 20s below zero in Black River Falls and in Sparta. Now, thankfully, winds are on the light side, but even a light wind if, with temperatures this cold uh, will cause wind chills in that dangerous range, anywhere from 20 to 30 below. So a wind chill advisory is in effect through 10 o'clock this morning for the entire News 8 Now viewing area.
Now we will see some sunshine today, kind of a mix of sun and clouds, but it's going to be another cold one, two degrees above zero at lunchtime. We're going to see highs today topping out near nine. We want to thank you so much for joining us this half hour or this hour, I should say, but there's much more to come on your morning news. It continues after this break.